Hi guys, we're all Russell back again, and I know I um, I am at this moment uploading my pop vinyl pickups video, but I don't think that video is particularly too long, and it's not you know that in depth, and it hasn't got that much screen time of me. So I decided to do another video, and this one I've actually this list. This is my second top ten. This is not a gaming top ten. It's a wrestling top ten. So the gaming fans are going to be disappointed. I've lost about half fans there, but um. This is my top 10 current WWE Superstar Slash Divas. So, for this list, I have rigorously thought out my favourite Superstars and Divas from both WWE and NXT, so I won't be discluding NXT. There's actually three NXT stars in my top 10. Uh, there's a lot in my uh, honourable mentions, which I'll get to in a minute. But um, I do love, obviously, I love WWE, and I love the developmental system NXT. So this list, the current WWE to me is very, very good. I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. The technical side of it is pretty well covered, um, except mainly for the Divas. But um, there's a lot to get through. So let's just start, you know, listing off my honorable mentions. So these ones I did think about putting in my top 10, but unfortunately their places were taken in the top 10, so I had to demote them to being only honorable mentions, but that's still quite impressive. So in my honorable mentions, I have... Bad News Barrett, I like the gimmick, I like his finisher, I like um, his reign as the IC champion last year, it was very good. Uh, Bray Wyatt, uh, he's the next Undertaker, I just think he needs that one more big thing to really make him a big star. Uh, I thought the victory over Undertaker at WrestleMania would do it, he didn't win. So I do think he needs that one more big feud to make him a big star. Damien Mizdow, as soon as he finally has that match with the Miz, Damien Mizdow is a shoe in to go for a minor title. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Stardust, the only reason he's in my honorable mentions is because it's not Cody Rhodes. I prefer Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes would be in my top 10, but unfortunately at the moment his gimmick is Stardust. So as soon as he turns back to Cody Rhodes, he will be replacing my 10th entrant. Uh, Kevin Owens, my, I think, third favourite superstar in XT at the moment. I really do like Kevin Owens. Kevin Steen, of course, had some fantastic matches on the independent circuit and already in NXT he's had some great matches with Sami Zayn, Finn Balor, Adrian Neville. Uh, you know, he's just had some fantastic matches and he is, uh, I'm hoping to see Samoa Joe and him have a feud when Samoa Joe finally does come to WWE. And that does seem likely from what I'm hearing on the internet. So fingers crossed for Joe versus Owens. I really want to see that. Uh, Sasha Banks, my second favourite NXT diva, bit of a spoiler for my uh, top 10 list, but Sasha Banks is really, I think, the most technically gifted NXT diva um, above Charlotte, and that's incredibly impressive. She's very exciting to watch, she's got a good personality about her, and she's the NXT Women's Champion, so kudos to her, she's very, very good, and that's why she's in my honourable mentions. Uh, we also have uh, Neville. I've gone with Neville, because that's what they're calling him on Raw now. A uh, interesting debut on Raw. I like Neville's moveset. I'm just going to call him Adrian Neville. I like Adrian Neville's moveset. It's very fast-paced. He's a different type of superstar, but he's also what the company are looking for. He's a very chiselled guy. Definitely look to Adrian Neville to be, you know, a big, quite a big guy in that company. I hope he does. I hope he does well because I do like Adrian Neville. Uh, Tyson Kidd, one of the most underrated stars I think in that company. Thank God he's finally, you know, got a belt with the tag title with uh, Cesaro. I really do like Tyson Kidd. I like everything about him. He's good technically. He's got a good personality. He's okay on the mic. Tyson Kidd, he could be a star, but unfortunately his age does sort of prohibit him from being a major star. I think maybe a minor title could do it for him. He'll never win the world title, in my opinion. Tyler Breeze. Um, basically, this is Dolph Ziggler 2.0, I think. I've always said to him that he is Dolph Ziggler 2.0. Sells well. Great technically. Great on the mic good heel, a nice straightforward heel who just thinks he's better than everybody, it's nice to see and that's why I like Tyler Breeze, he also has some fantastic matches, Sami Zayn, uh, Hideo Tami recently, um, Adrian Neville's had some great matches, uh, Tyler Breeze is a very very good superstar and one I really like. Um, Rusev, surprising one, I do like Rusev, I think he's, he's a, a good brute. Uh, it's nice to see, you know, not just the technical aspect of WWE at the moment. It's nice to see some brute force superstars. Rusev could be a future world champion. I'm hoping for a, a Rusev Roman Reigns feud. Think think about that one. I think that one could be a powerhouse feud in a steel cage or something like that. That could be pretty awesome. And my last honourable mention, sorry for that, is Curtis Axel. 
Um, again, one of the most underrated superstars in the company. I really do like Axel. Axel Mania ran wild at WrestleMania. It's just a shame he got eliminated from the Rumble first. Right, now we're in the top ten. And I do need to now stress that this list has nothing to do with my overall list on who my favourites are. In fact, two superstars in this list are in my favourites of all time, my top ten favourites of all time, which is a list for another day. Um, one of them is shockingly low on this list, but I can definitely, I'll tell you why he's that low when I get to them. So we start off with number 10, and that is Bailey. Now, Bailey is the NXT Diva, of course. You know, wears the, the blue attire with the, like, the black hair. I was going to, like, say what hair looks like, but I can't really describe it. Uh, Bailey to me is just a very exciting diva. She has a cool personality. She's good technically. She's got an interesting finisher, the Bailey to belly, a little bit of a pun there like that. And um, uh, she's sort of like a quite innocent diva. She reminds me a lot of AJ before she retired, like yesterday. Uh, basically, she reminds me a lot of AJ with like like instant nature. But when she gets in the ring, she can really perform. Big matches for Bailey that I can think of. Uh, Bailey versus. Uh, Bailey vs. Charlotte at NXT R Revolution. Uh, yeah, R Revolution. No, no, no. That was. Yeah, no, no. Uh, Bailey vs. Charlotte at NXT Fatal 4 Way. Takeover Fatal 4 Way. That was it. Uh, Bailey in that Fatal 4 Way match at Rival. That was an amazing Divas match. Definitely check it out. But Bailey is my second favourite Diva on the, in WWE at the moment, and she definitely deserves to be there. Number nine, and this is the controversial one, uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is my 10th favourite WWE superstar of all time. And while that might seem a little bit high, I'll tell you why Brock Lesnar is so low on this list. Because we don't see him enough. If I saw Brock Lesnar every week, then I could easily make him number two on this list. That is incredibly high. Um, I love Brock Lesnar, he's fantastic technically, he can't speak to save his life. But he's still very, very good technically, and I love Brock Lesnar because he's that he's, he's that good technically. His amateur wrestling matches um, from 2003, not like actual wrestling, where he used amateur wrestling against Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, those matches to me are some of the best of Brock Lesnar's career. Uh, big Brock Lesnar matches I can think of, Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19, Kurt Angle at SummerSlam 2003, Kurt Angle in that SmackDown one-hour Iron Man match, um... Eddie Guerrero at No Way Out 2004, one of my favourite matches of all time. Definitely, Brock Lesnar is one of my favourites of all time, but unfortunately he's only ninth favourite currently because I don't see him enough on TV. Not knocking him, he's still a great, great competitor. Number eight, uh, Daniel Bryan comes in at number eight. I've been behind Daniel Bryan since late Ring of Honor. I liked Daniel Bryan in Ring of Honor as Bryan Danielson, the American Dragon. And when he transitioned over to WWE, I never really knew how well he would do. But um, he's done exceptionally well. The guy's a, a four-time world champ, current Intercontinental Champion. Uh, cut his head open, actually, on SmackDown the other day. But um, Danny Bryan is one of the most exciting superstars you'll see in WWE at the moment. He's basically, to me, he was originally because of like his like rivalry with the, with the Authority. The Authority are basically the corporation from the late 90s. Uh, he's basically, to me, a Stone Cold uh, sort of, not rip-off, sort of like a repeat of Stone Cold. With what basically being yes. They are basically very similar. I, I, the yes chance, yeah, I guess along with it. I do love Daniel Bryan. Technically, I think he's the best wrestler in that entire company. And that's why Daniel Bryan gets 8th on my list. And I marked out when he won the world title at WrestleMania 30. Absolutely loved it. Awesome. Daniel Bryan, probably one of my favourite moments of 2014. Sorry, my throat's a bit dry. I need a drink. Ah. Number seven, Cesaro, the other half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, who I, I have nicknamed Tysaro. Well, actually, a friend nicknamed it, and I've just sort of taken it. So thanks, thanks to him. Uh, Cesaro is, to me, the third best technical wrestler in wrestling at the moment. Behind Tula's, who I will name down the list. But um, Cesaro is incredibly well done technically. He impresses me every day with his strength. Um, he's been in incredible matches in WWE and in NXT. In WWE, he's had great matches with John Cena, Randy Orton, Christian, Sheamus, you know, Daniel Bryan. 
In NXT, he's had great matches with Sami Zayn, uh, Adrian Neville. I think he's had some cool matches with Corey Graves. And that is what I love about Cesaro. Cesaro can get a great match out of anyone. He had a fantastic uh, WrestleMania 31, of course, retaining the WWE Tag Team titles. And he's one of my favourite guys at the moment, and that's why he sits at 7th, sorry. 7th, not 6th. Ah, number 7 is Dean Ambrose. And Dean Ambrose is basically, to me, I think he is very Stone Cold-esque. I've already said that about Brian. I'm going to say about Ambrose. With his style of wrestling, he's not too technical with his wrestling. Um, but he's still very, very good. Um, I, I like his finisher. I liked the original Dirty Deeds, which was like a, a face lock into a like driver. I preferred that more to the dull arm underhook. But um, it's still a cool finisher. It looks impactful. Ambrose does it well. Ambrose's gimmick is very enjoyable to watch. And he's just a funny guy. I love Dean Ambrose. I think he's a great... Great technically, is cool on the mic, and is a fun gimmick. That's why Dean Ambrose sits at my number six spot. Number five is uh, the first diva, well, the second diva on the list, the first WWE main roster diva, and it's painfully obvious. Uh, it's Paige. Paige, to me, is not only the most attractive diva in WWE at the moment, she's the best technically. Um, she's been doing this for about nine years, so she's not exactly a rookie. Um, she's been doing it ever since she was 13 years old in Norwich, England, so she gets extra points for being from England. And she is so smooth with everything she does. She has a cool move set with moves like the Page Turner, the Rampage, the PTO, which I think is the Page Tap Out. Yeah, the Page Tap Out. She has a clover leaf, she has headbutts. Page has such a versatile move set that I had to put her on this list. She's my favourite diva at the moment, and actually my fourth favourite diva of all time. Credit to Paige. She's done so much in a year. She's a two-time Divas champion. I hope they give her the belt quickly, because I don't like the Bellas. And um, we'll see where they go with Paige. Maybe she can get even higher on the list. But um, she's going off some tough competition to get past. Um, number four is Finn Balor. And basically, Prince Devitt, the best wrestler in the world is Finn Balor. Prince Devitt is the best wrestler, I think, in the entire world. At the moment in NXT, he still shocks me every day with what he can do. He had an amazing match with Kevin Owens on NXT a few weeks ago. My favourite match of the year so far was Finn Balor versus Adrian Neville at NXT Rival. Fantastic match. Absolutely loved it. Sorry, my throat. Finn Balor is he's got a cool gimmick. The face paint he puts on, well, the body paint, looks absolutely incredible. If he does that himself, then... Honestly, dude, that's that's impressive. Um, he's got great mic work. I can't wait till he comes up to the main roster. He's got a cool finisher in the coup de gras, which is basically a double foot stomp, but he makes it look cool. Finn Balor, my fourth favourite current WWE superstar. Number three is another NXT superstar, and it's Sami Zayn. I've liked Sami Zayn basically since he arrived in NXT. I didn't know a lot about El Generico. But I watched Sami Zayn and then went back and watched some El Generico and really enjoyed watching El Generico. Um, he's so crisp. I think Sami Zayn, to me, is the second best. No, no. I think technical wrestling in WWE as it goes, you've got Finn Balor, Daniel Bryan, Cesaro, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is the fourth best technical wrestler in WWE. And that's impressive considering you're behind those three Goliaths in technical wrestling. Sami Zayn... Gets the most crowd response, I would say, of any NXT superstar. He's great technically. He's fun to listen to on the mic. He has a great attire. It really works. An interesting finisher in the Huluva kick. He also has the Koji clutch. He's got a great move set. The Exploder Suplex moves like that. He's got the uh, the Thunder Bomb, like the spinning Thunder Bomb, which is really cool to watch. He has a powerful move set. I love his move set. I can't really gush about his move set enough. I really do like Sami Zayn. That's why he sits third on my list. Number two was basically number two until it was number one until about a year ago. And it's Dolph Ziggler. Um, Dolph Ziggler I've loved ever since he started in WWE and since 2008. The guy just steals the show every time he's in the ring. And I just had to check time. And he honestly just is so good. Matches with Del Rio, Edge, Orton, Cena, um, Daniel Bryan recently had three matches that are all great. And that's why Dolph Ziggler sits in my number two spot. 
And Dolph Ziggler is just so good. And I, I love Dolph Ziggler. I can't wait for him to finally win the world title again. Will it ever happen? I don't think so, and that pains me. But hi-ho, we can hope. And number one. Uh, this may seem a bit like forced, considering he did just win the world title. But that's not why he's here. Number one is Seth Rollins. Seth, Seth Rollins was my favourite member of the Shield. Tyler Black is an incredible wrestler. He's great. He's got great high-flying moves. He's got a great finisher. I love the curb stomp as a finisher. He can take bumps well. He can sell well. Dolph Ziggler can sell really well. So can Sami Zayn, by the way. Seth Rollins can sell well. He's in some of the best matches of this year and last year with matches with the Wyatts, Evolution, Dean Ambrose. Um, he had a great match this year at Royal Rumble with Lesnar and Cena. He was in a great match at... WrestleMania, of course, with Orton, my second favourite match of the year. He took that mean RKO, and awesome RKO. Seth Rollins gets a lot of credit for that. He won the Dirty World of title in that great triple threat match. Seth Rollins is my number one favourite to current WWE superstar, and he is the current WWE World of champion. Uh, I hope they go with him well. I hope, you know, he gets a big push. I hope he defends the belt, you know, up until maybe SummerSlam. But, um... It probably will happen, which makes me happy, but I don't think he'll carry it much past there. So um, that is my top 10 favourite current WWE superstars. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe for more. This has been Revolver Ross a lot.